Hey everybody, Captain Beanard back here with another Wi-Fi battle. Uh, exciting day today because I actually have my first VGC doubles match here on Scarlet and Violet. This is actually also in ranked mode as well, so it's going to be pretty exciting. Um, so we found our opponent here, uh, looks like Coke. Um, so yeah, as you can see on the side, I have my team here, and uh, there are a couple of new faces. Uh, those are going to be the Lycanroc, um, Midday Form, and the Sandaconda, both Pokemon I've kind of used before, um, although I used a different form of the uh, Lycanroc, but this is actually that special uh, shiny that I found um, recently here. So there's kind of a sand strategy, or a, a pseudo-sand strategy here on this team. Um... So I think what we're going to do, we have to choose four Pokemon. We're going to lead with the um, Iron Jugulus and the Sandaconda, and then we're going to back up with the um, Lycanroc and the Houndstone, which are which is not banned um, in VGC doubles, actually. So, um, yeah, based on what they have going on, that seems like a decent enough strategy. So, yeah, we'll give that a shot and see how that works out. So, um, for those of you unfamiliar with VGC, essentially, it um, you get to choose four of your six Pokemon to go ahead and um, to battle with. So, that's what we're doing here. Um, so, yeah, I've never done a ranked match before either, so this will be pretty interesting. So, uh, we'll see how it goes. So, there he is. And he's going to lead with the Amoongus and the Flutter Mane as we lead with the Iron Jugulus and the Sandaconda. So Flutter Mane going to go ahead and pop a booster energy to increase its special attack. So that's obviously bad news. So unfortunately, I kind of know where this is going because the strategy typically um, with these things is the um, Amoongus usually goes for a Rage Powder. Um, which is bad news. Uh, so I think what we're going to do here is we're going to go for an Air Slash on the Amoongus, and we're going to go for a... We'll go for an Earthquake as well. Yeah, so we'll try to get some big damage off early and see what happens. As they actually withdraw the Flutter main, so that's interesting. And they're going to go ahead and switch in with the Palafin, so interesting move on their part here. As uh, we go for the Air Slash on the Amoongus, going to take it all the way down to about a third HP, which is great damage. Unfortunately, it is packing a Berry, looks like a Citrus Berry, to increase its health. Um, as we go for the Earthquake with the Sandaconda, obviously not going to touch the Iron Jugulus because it's a flying type. And uh, we are going to get some uh, nice damage on the other two Pokemon. The Amoongus actually flinches off the Air Slash, which is extremely unfortunate um, for them. So... That's actually great for us. Um, that could not have worked out better for us, actually, that turn. Um, so we're going to go ahead and Air Slash again. This time we're going to go for it on Palafin. And uh, we're just going to go Earthquake again with the um, with the Sandaconda. Um, it doesn't look like there's any real reason not to, so that's what we're going to do. Um, and see what they want to do. I assume they were going for a Spore with the Amoongus to try and put us to sleep. Um, as they're going to go ahead and pop their Terra. So who's going to be Terrastalizing here? I'm going to guess it's probably the Palafin. And indeed, it is the Palafin. They're going to go ahead and Terrastalize into a Water-type or stay a Water-type, but they're going to get that increased damage output. Um, that's what they're looking for, I'm sure. So uh, the Amoongus is going to go for Protect this turn, which is interesting, as um, they're not going to take any damage. We are going to go for another Air Slash. Going to knock the Palafin all the way down to the red, but it does survive with about 2 HP. It goes for a wave crash in return on the Sandaconda, which is going to go ahead and obliterate us, unfortunately, with a critical hit. I don't know if that mattered or not, but that is going to trip our Sand Spit ability, which is, of course, what we wanted to. That's going to create a Sandstorm on the battlefield. Knocks our Sandaconda out, dropping us down to um, three Pokemon, which is not great, but it is also going to knock the Palafin out on the recoil um, from the wave crash which, crash, which is incredible. That's going to knock them down um, to three Pokemon as well. We are going to take some sand damage um, on the Jugulus, and then they are going to take sand damage on the Amoongus too. So this is a perfect opportunity to go ahead and come in with our Lycanroc, um, as we are Sand Rush on the Lycanroc, so we're going to have our speed doubled as they are going to come in with the um, Flutter Mane once again. So there is our Lycanroc midday. So I say what we do in this situation, there's no reason to switch um, we're just going to go ahead and Air Slash on the Amoongus here. 
um, with the Jugulus, and then we're actually going to go ahead and pop our Terra with the um, with the Lycanroc Terrasalizing into a Steel type, um, and then we're going to go ahead and go for a Terra boosted uh, Max Attack Life Warp boosted Iron Head on the uh, Flutter Main, and we'll see where that gets us. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and pop our Terra as I said, and we're going to Terrasalize that. Um, Lycanroc into a Steel type, which is obviously going to benefit us, or at least hopefully going to benefit us. So there it is. And we are going to outspeed everything with the um, Lycanroc, thanks to that Sand Rush doubling our speed. We're going to hit him up with that Iron Head. It is going to be enough to go ahead and one-shot that Flutter Main, which is incredible. That's going to knock them down to two. And we do take some Life Orb Recoil as we go for the Air Slash with the Iron Jugulus. going to be more than enough to finish the Amoongus off and knock them down to just one Pokemon. Um, so things going extremely well for us right now, which is, uh, of course, great. We do take some sand damage with the Jugulus, but not a big deal, as uh, they do just have one Pokemon left, and it is the Chen Pao. So they're coming in with that thing. They do have the sort of Ruin to cut all of our defenses. So um, there's really no reason to change course here. We're just going to go ahead, and since we are Choice Scarf locked into Air Slash with the uh, Jugulus, we're just going to continue to go for that. And um, best move we have uh, for this thing with the Lycanroc is going to be an Iron Head again, so we're just going to go ahead and go for that. As, um, again, we outspeed everything with the Lycanroc thanks to that Sand Rush. Go for that Terra Boosted Iron Head. Going to knock the Chen Pao all the way down to a Focus Sash, but it does survive because of it. We take some more Life Orb Recoil on the Lycanroc as Jugulus uh, is just going to go ahead and go for the Air Slash, which is going to be more than enough to finish that. Um, Chen Pao off, and that is game. So we are going to win that one 3-0 against Coke, but that was a uh, really fun game, actually. Very uh, fast-paced, high-octane uh, competitive game there. And, um, yeah, um, very uh, good showing for us in our first uh, forte into VGC and into Ranked on... Um, Scarlet and Violet, so yeah, we are going to get uh, some rank up from that. Um, so we don't want to keep battling right now. We're going to quit and see what rank we went up to here. Uh, let's take a look here. So we went up halfway on uh, rank 1 there. So we can see right there... Um, yeah, that's our one game right there. <laughs> so we are 1-0 and in ranked. Undefeated 1-0 and in ranked right now, I might add. <laughs> so uh, that'll probably be the last time, first and last time I get to say that, but that's fine. Um, so yeah, um, but I think that's going to do it for this one, actually. Uh, so uh, that's it. Thanks for watching again, everybody. Hope you all enjoyed. Please hit that like button, leave a comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy, and stay tuned for more new battles in the future. So that's it, and we'll see you next time.